y'all and welcome to today's video. I am very excited because while I was away on vacation, I ordered the new palette from Nomad. I purchased the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. We are going to swatch it. We are going to create some looks. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this palette. I can't wait. I'm very excited. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here on my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new eyeshadow palettes. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week and we are just all about having fun with makeup over here. So please subscribe before you go today. But you can see my makeup is done, but I need eyeshadow on. We need to swatch this palette. We need to talk about it. So let's jump into it. palette on launch day and it came with this cute cute postcard that says haunted europe it has this castle on the front here let me cover up the back but it's like a postcard and they did write my name and my city and state and it says thank you so much for your order we hope you'll love your new nomad goodies and i think that's cute the outer box adorable and let me show you the front okay the front is kind of hard to capture on camera but it's like depending on how you move it like you have this beautiful portrait of this pretty lady on the front that says nomad and then when you turn it she like has a veil on and a skull in her hands and it says haunted europe and i think it's amazing i just think it's so cool so it says this is inspired by the dark fairy tales of Europe which is cool so let me show you the inside you have a large mirror which is so lovely I'm going to show you a close-up of the palette because the inside looks like it's like a stone wall with all these shadows printed on you can see in the close-up the imprints and the shadows it looks like we have like a cemetery castles caskets spider webs bats like brush or limbs or something like that really fun I'm also going to show you a close-up of the swatches I will say the neutral shades in this palette do pull very cool toned when I swatch them so I do think this is like a overall colorful but kind of cool toned earthy type of vibe that's the impression I get just from looking at it and swatching it so far I do have several palettes from Nomad I think I have three palettes from Nomad so far that I've purchased this year and I like the Nomad quality so I expect this palette to be great but as of right now I have not put these shadows on my eyes so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Mama Ma Mitchell Acid Rain base in collab with P. Louise so I'm gonna prime my eyes I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we are gonna create a look you already know how many looks I'm going to create with this palette. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I want to do two looks with this palette. That is my goal, to do two looks with this palette and then kind of give you my thoughts on it. So let me prime my eyes and zoom y'all in. Okay, so for this first look, I want to go in first with Grendel right here. This green shade, I'm picking that up on my what's up beauty r105 brush and this shade is really cool because it has like a cemetery printed into the shadow which makes it so cool i mean obviously the more and more i use this shade it's gonna like rub away the imprint but it is really pretty and i really like the detail I'm just going to keep this shadow right out here. You can see I'm kind of packing it on and then I'm kind of just lightly blending out the edges. Then I want to go into Braun Castle right here. And this is like a cool toned purple. I'm picking that up on a BH Studio Pro 17 brush. 
And this shade is going to go right in here. This is like not quite gray, not quite purple, but completely beautiful. And this one had the imprint of a spider web, which again, I mean, it's just so cute. It's the little details like that that I think are adorable. I'm just kind of, you can see I kind of like pack and then lightly blend. Okay, now I'm going to grab my Sigma E25 and I'm going to go in to Ghost River. Ghost River also had an uh, imprint in it of a spider web, but this is going to go above both shades. See, I'm just holding the brush on its side and I'm lightly buffing right up here. Next, I want to grab my Morphe E18. And what I think we'll do is go into Black Forest, this beautiful navy shade. I think, I, like, I can't wait to wear this shade. This shade had the imprint of like, I don't know what it is. I think it's supposed to be like tree branches, which if you've ever like been sleeping on a really windy night and you've had tree branches like scraping at your window, oh my gosh, it sounds so creepy. So if that's what these are supposed to be like tree branches like that, it totally makes sense to me to go with this palette. Okay, I'm gonna grab this LA Girl eyeliner in the shade Ocean and put that in my lower waterline. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down a Lit Daily Wear glitter base. Instead of spraying my brush, I want to do a glitter base to really make this look pop pop, you know? So, <laughs> the colors I'm going to go in with, I'm first going to go in with Big Bad Wolf, which has those branches printed on it. And then I'm going to go into the Catacombs, which has coffins printed on it. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. I'm going to take my glitter base. I've got my brushes ready. I'm going to tap this all over the lid, uh, bring it up, going in with this Real Techniques brush. I don't know the name of it because it came in like a set, but I'm going to pick up that first shade and I'm going to pounce it under the green and in a little bit. I'm just going to pounce it, get it to lay down. I'll go back and blend in a second, but while that glitter glue is still not dry, I'm going to dip into the catacombs. This is a Lunar Beauty brush and I'm going to put this all here. And you can see right in here, I'm going above like right in the crease with my shade. I'm just gonna pack and blend like this. And when I get to where the shades meet, I'm taking my brush and I'm flicking like this. So right to the edge, flick, 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 and flicking up. These shades, I hope you could see in the swatches, they have a lot of shimmer to them. Like they're very, dimensional. So I feel like you can see different colors of shimmer in there, like kind of purples and greens and different shimmers with the base, which I think is really, really pretty. Like I love the way these colors are looking together. First, I'm going to drop my mirror and then I'm going to do the same thing over here to this side. Okay. I am loving, loving the way this eye look is coming together. But let's do something on the inner corner. And I've debated. I'm like, should we go this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade? Both shades will be pretty, but it will change the look. But ultimately, I can't help it. I'm going into this shade right here. Sorry. This one, uh, Highgate Cemetery with this like cemetery imprint on it. And I want that. I decided to go the more colorful root and I think I made the right choice but I think either one of those would be really pretty on the inner corner or even like my face highlight shade would be pretty okay I'm gonna throw on some black eyeliner I'm gonna throw on some mascara I'll come back we'll see how the look comes together 
and I'll kind of tell you what else is on my face. All right, y'all, this is my first finished look with Haunted Europe, and I have to say, I love all the shades I played with. I love my eye look so far, so good. Let me tell you what else I have on my face. But good great like I love this outlook. I'm so happy I get to wear this the rest of the day. I'm wearing Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation in the shade 6. This is a warm olive undertone. I'm wearing my ABH concealer in 10. I'm wearing my Kaleidos Lip Clay in Bare with Lawless Gloss on top in Daisy Pink. For blush, I have on my ne ne <laughs> NYX, NYX Sweet Cheek Summer Breeze Matte Blush. My Vive Bronzer in the shade Tan. Tan 1, Tan 2. I'm wearing my Sigma Glow Kissed Palette. And I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Products. So that is what I have on the rest of my face. What do we think? What do we think of this eye look? I really like it. So far, it's the same Nomad quality that I'm used to, but I'm into the look. I would love to know what you think before we jump into the next look. Okay, since yesterday I did more of a dark, colorful type of look, we'll do something super neutral today. My eyes are primed and ready for shadow, and I want to go into Mary King's Close right here, just this very neutrally shade. I'm going to use my What's Up Beauty brushes today. I'm just going to pop out any crease in my eye primer and this is kind of going to go everywhere. I'm not worried about bringing it down to the lash line but this is a large brush so it's just going to fluff all over the place. Okay, next I'm going to go in to this shade right down here. It has bats printed on it. It's so cute, but it's very warm. So I'm going to keep this low in the crease. I'm not going to bring it up as high as I did the other shade. I'm just keeping it low like this and then blending it out. Okay, for the lid, I'm going to go into this shade right here super pretty neutral and I am going to spray my brush whatever kind of makeup mist setting spray you have is fine it really really doesn't matter and this is just going to go all over the lid okay we have something very very light going on I want to go into Count Dracula the dark brown shade that has bats printed on it and I want to keep this pretty close to my lower lash line. Okay, I'm going to take my ring finger and dip lightly into this gold shade right here that has the castle imprint. And I'm going to pop that right on the inner corner. It's going to give us just a, a little pop of yellow gold right there for something kind of unexpected since we have this very neutral, neutral eye look going on. I'm just going to buff it in and blend here. And then I'm going to put on my Patrick Ta black eyeliner. I'm going to put on some mascara. We'll see how everything is coming together and I'll kind of give you my thoughts now that I've tried this palette twice. Alright y'all, here is my finished look. Very neutral and simple. I used my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. I used my Adobe Cloud Lip Clay from Kaleidos. I really like this look. Very light and simple. Let me tell you, I've used this palette now just twice, but Yesterday, the green, silvery, deep look. I got so many compliments on it. I really liked that look. And I really like this look. I think it's really nice when a palette can take you super dramatic, colorful, impactful, and also give you something light. So I really like this palette. I think this is the good Nomad quality that I know and expect from them. Of course, I've only used it twice. So what I do at the end of every month, 
or the beginning of the month, I like to do like a roundup review of all my palettes. I like to rank the most recent ones I've tried. Once I kind of have my full thoughts, I've played with them more and more and more. I've swatched them more and more. I like to rank them and kind of give you a full review. So that will be coming with this palette once I feel like I have my full thoughts on it. But I have to say like my first impression was really good. I've worn it a second time now and I think it looks really soft and beautiful. I like this color story. I like that we get deep colors. We have these really dark shades. I like that we have these really light colors. I like that we have some mid-tone. There's a very nice range here. I like that we have different formulas and finishes like this shade right here, these were very, very sparkly, whereas these are more metallic. I just think this is a really fun palette. I love, like, I don't know if I would call this Halloween themed, but it is fun. I mean, it's inspired by the dark fairy tales of Europe. I just, I love a theme. I think this is fun. Packaging is fun. So congratulations to Nomad for another beautiful release. I'm so happy I was able to purchase this palette and I got it so quickly, but I would love to know what are your thoughts. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I can't wait to see what y'all think of this palette. I have a very busy day today. I'm very excited to be wearing this look. Can y'all believe I don't have a highlighter on? This is just this glowy blush. Anyways, I will see y'all tomorrow, tomorrow in the judging new makeup video. Bye.